Roxbury tonight, one week after the police shooting of a man in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Police had feared a repeat of the violence that erupted in Boston after the death of George Floyd back in May, but tonight's demonstration was peaceful. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. The demonstrators are calling for an end to police brutality against people of color. WBZ's Tashani Whitlow was in Roxbury tonight. A large group of protesters gathered here in Nubian Square demanding justice against police brutality. <laughs> Calls for justice rang out loud and clear in the heart of Nubian Square in Roxbury Sunday evening. Black people and people of color have been fighting for decades and centuries for rights that they still don't have. The protests coming a week after the shooting of Jacob Blake at the hands of a white police officer in Wisconsin. This Mattapan man just returned from the March on Washington, where thousands gathered demanding the same basic human rights as protesters here, justice and protection. And that was re-energizing and it was healing for me to see so many standing in solidarity. Uh, but I'm traumatized. He says seeing the videos of people who look like him being brutalized by police is becoming too much. In the moments when I have tried to heal, right, and trying to kind of calm down and, and really just, just live, it happens again. So I'm traumatized. I'm, I'm scared for my life, but I'm using that fear to fuel my fire. Organizers honoring those victims with a moment of silence before taking their fight to the streets, walking from Nubian Square to Franklin Park. We caught the group stopping traffic on Seaver Street. National Guard on standby, just in case. It's interesting that the National Guard hasn't been deployed to go door to door to deliver groceries or, or check on people during the pandemic. The National Guard was called in. The last time they were deployed here in Boston was back in May after protests over the killing of George Floyd turned violent. In Roxbury, Tashani Whitlow, WBZ News.